Hey guys, Yeber here, and I'm reading a new video, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys an infinite NPC house glitch that works on iOS, Android, and believe it or not, this actually works on console, PC, all the way up to 1.3.2, all devices, all versions, as of right now. So all you need to do is you have Terraria, and basically what I'm going to do is that, I'm to show you that this works with multiple NPCs, I'm going to be using a mod called Xmod Games Accelerator, which allows me to speed up the game of Terraria, which I can, you know, let me show you what I mean. So, wait for this to load a little bit, and yes, I know, this thing's going to be crazy and all that, tell me I've not licensed and all that crap, but whatever. See, okay, I'm going to go to the world, so this is what it's going to look like. At the very end, this is what it's going to look like. So see how my character's running at the speed? Now let me accelerate it a little bit. And now I'm, it's basically like speeding up every process, every part of the game. Which technically is a speed hack. Which I really like it. If you guys want me to do a tutorial, uh, comment down below and I will do it for Android and iOS since it's compatible on both um, platforms. So yeah. Let me just turn this down for now. Back to one. And yeah. So what I, oh, no, 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 what one? Zero. Sorry. So yeah, what I can do is I'm going to go to my world, I made a copy of it, which I deleted everything. So this is what it'll look like. I, would go, I wouldn't go that far up, but you want to go far enough. So what you want to do is you want to go up a little bit. So I'm going to go up, so let's see. Let's go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Or that's a little more than 6, but whatever. So yeah, let's go right here. Then let's break the bottom. Okay. Uh, you want to go 9 below. So you want to make it go by a 9, up by 2 in the right hand side, then go down, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, you want to go 5 down to the left, go up the exact height you are, so it goes above you like this, and then once you're right here, basically it's 1 away from this, so it would be like something like this, so you would just take that off, and now it's like this, and then you would go up 2, and then go down and just curve it around, well, last one, and there you go. Uh, I'll leave the tutorial in the description below, uh, in the description also, if you guys can't really understand what I'm trying to do, if you, or if you guys are confused. Okay, once you you want to put down a door, and then you want to put down a crafting table, because crafting table is counted as a table and a um, chair, which is pretty cool. Actually, no, it's just going to a table, so I'm going to just put down the uh, wooden platform. Then I'm going to put down the wooden chair, and then I'm going to take out my torch. And I'm going to place it. And now, this is when the speed hack comes into handy. So what I'm going to do, since NPCs sometimes take a while to spawn, I'm going to first of all make my inventory look a little bit better, or take away, throw away this cobweb first of all. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed up because it may take a while. As you can already see, the dryad already came up, and as you can see, it's everything's moving fast. So if I were to like move away and everything like that, it would go back inside the L spot. So we go over here and then go back home or wherever it is. It's kind of harder to maneuver in this, so that's okay. So now we just now we just wait. Oop, nope, that's the wrong thing. Let's throw it away. But I'm trying to get the um, dryad to go inside of the little house. So that's kind of hard to do when there's all these, you know, slimes and all that. The dryad. Oh, see? The guy's in there. That's good. And see what I mean? The guy's in there and the dryad's in there. So that eventually, every NPC will be in there. I don't know where the dryad, dryad is and what the hell she's doing, but... Where'd she go? She... I think she's in there, maybe? Nah, I don't know where she went. Oh, oh, oh well. Let's just, um, yeah, let's just fly around and wait. Wait for her to go inside, wherever the hell she is. I have no idea. she go down here at all? No. There you are, Dryad. What, what are you... She's in her natural habitat. <laughs> I have no idea what the hell that means. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, eventually you can have all the way up to every single NPC in the game. Even if the traveling merchant comes, he can stay there. The angler can stay there, and everything happens like that. So yeah, this is I already killed like the things like the dungeon guardian, and I can um, I already found most of, of the NPCs, so it will spawn already for me. That's the reason why I use this world. So yeah, I'm gonna go down here, and I'm just gonna find the um, uh, what's called mechanic, wherever she is. See that clothier clother I found her. Let's just uh, oh, there's a the mechanic. Let's rescue her. Then let's go back up, and hopefully she will make her way to. Home. Home. Okay, there I am. So yeah, as you can see, 
if I if I can do this or no, as you can see, there's when they start moving again. Give me a second. Ah, crap! I can Go away, I can No one likes you. See, so, yeah, as you can see, there's a bunch of stuff there. There's like three. There's like more than three NPCs already. So now we just wait for them to move around again. We try to get in here. Okay, let's go. Okay, is it, is it Dryad still down there? Nope, she's not. That's good. It's going. Dang it! Okay, let's, uh, okay, let's, yeah. Dang it. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Uh, yeah, I made it. Okay, I'm waiting for the move again. And then I will do stuff. So yeah, it's basically, just, this mod basically just speeds up the game and, and everything around, part of it. It's basically the easy way to go throughout the night and, you know, do everything you need to do. Fast. Okay, like everything is like fast and all that. Yeah. Wait for the move and then you can see the like, you see what I mean? Look at all them. Look at all those people. Like, whoa, what the heck? They're all crowded. That's nice. So yeah. So you and the die traders here. Every NPC can fit in there. Which is basically like the old, uh, uh, the old N NPC, uh, house. Infinite NPC house, which my opinion is a little tiny, teeny bit better. Because of the fact that it's closed in. But other than that, actually I might make a video on the every single difference and all that. I might. I don't know. So yeah. Now let's just give it a few more seconds. We'll see if any more NPCs. Oop, there's a painter. That's another NPC I wanted to come back. Come back. And I was hoping the traveling merchant would come again like it did last time when I first made this. It's like when I first made it, traveling, a traveling merchant came in and just... was like, lol. Just, uh... I'll, I'll join your house for you. Why not? Let's let this... I... Exigua... Probably the, um... Uh, what's it called? The, um, uh... What's it called? The, um... Jungle person. What's his name? Oh, I'm having a brain fart. I'll probably think about it. Wish Doctor. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. That's what I'm talking about. Jungle thing. Wish Doctor. Weird guy. Where is he? Is he in there? Yeah, he's in there. That's nice. It's hard to... It's hard to do stuff in there. So, yeah. The, the worst part about this is that you can't really... You know, it's kind of hard to maneuver around a little bit. So, that's the only really bad part. Other than that, it's pretty good. I can just, you know. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, make sure to smack that like button and subscribe to our other videos. If you guys did, smack that like button with your nose like this. And I'll see you guys next time. <gasps> Bye.